After a few outings filled with respectful statements about the process and the smooth transition of power, President Obama is now stepping up his criticism of his soon-to-be successor. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen reports from the White House tonight on an outgoing president who finds himself far from home in a tough political spot. As President Obama on his final foreign tour beheld the Acropolis in Athens, birthplace of democracy, he also faced the prospect that last week's exercise of democracy back home may leave his legacy in ruins. History does not move in a straight line. Later, in an address to the Greek people, the president renewed his commitment to a smooth transition, but spoke in his toughest terms yet about the president-elect and the meaning of his victory. May, you may have noticed the next American president and I could not be more different. Faced with this new reality, it's inevitable that some will seek a comfort in nationalism or tribe or ethnicity or sect. These are the final days for Barack Obama, the winter of his presidency. With the Democratic Party he led in disarray, his legacy imperiled by Republican control of Congress and the White House, and the Supreme Court expected to shift sharply to the right, Mr. Obama must now navigate between conflicting duties to his nation and himself. As president, he stresses continuity to reassure allies abroad. As a political figure, he seeks to avoid blame for his party's defeat and to project confidence that his legacy is both laudable and lasting. In addition to feeling it incumbent upon himself as the incumbent to have a smooth transfer of power, he's deeply disappointed and uh, torn, uh, not only about his legacy, but the possible risks to the country and to U.S. foreign policy for the future. At Trump Tower, at least until now, aides to the president-elect had expressed gratitude for Mr. Obama's post-election tone. You hear President Obama trying very earnestly to respect the will of the people. But the remarks in Athens left some veterans of the transition process critical of the president. He's being divisive in his rhetoric, and at the same time he's telling his White House staff to, to have a smooth transition. You can't have it both ways. His rhetoric has to match his deeds.